disguise which will strike utter fear into their hearts. Hey guys, what's up? On this week's episode, I'm going to make a Dark Donnie from Night of the Dark Turtle, also known as Super Donnie, because um, copyright issues, I think. He looks a lot like Batman. I'd say he's got totally bats. Better not, dude. Could be trademark infringement. So they had to change him, and now I have to deal with copyright issues from them, possibly. And they were, it's a weird circle. But let's get into it. So to start, I have a Super Donnie, which is based on the Dark Donnie from Night of the Dark Turtle from the 1987 uh, season seven, episode 14. It's a good episode if you want to watch that. But, um, so first I traced him out so I can make the outline for his cape and I'm just trying to center it and then I fold it and cut it in half so that it's symmetrical. I ended up with two because it was already a piece of paper cut in half so I'm just tracing that out onto my black fabric. The fabric, I needed some black fabric so it was the cheapest at the store. I bought two pillowcases and thought I could use one for a pillow and uh, the other one for the cape in future projects but it turned out it came with a bag that was the same material so I just cut up the bag that was good now it's a two millimeter craft foam I cut out that strip is going to be his belt and now I'm doing my best to cut an oval shape to be for his crest and you can see there's a drawing there I did quick just so I could have a reference because I always forget to look at the reference and then I make mistakes. So I drew the turtle that he has on his crest and then colored it just with a regular marker, which was not a good idea. We'll get to that later. But I quickly sanded up his chest because he has a fabric shirt over and it makes them look more human proportions so I had to fill in the um, shell pieces too. Well, I'm going to paint it later and it'll look more like fabric. So I traced out his feet and I also filled some um, spackling between his toes but now I'm putting on the soles of his boot and I also cut two, um, they look like fork tongues but they're for the tongue of the boot because it's got a triangle shape and now I'm just gluing his uh, bat ears onto the top of his head. So now that I, I'm adding some more spackling to his feet to make it look like he's wearing boots not straight feet and also I added to his arms and well, his wrists because he's also wearing gloves and adding to the top of his head so that it blends in with the mask that he's already wearing because that's going to be painted black as well. And then I had the idea if I use a thin strip of foam I can make the um, outline of the gloves and the boots and just fill it in as opposed to trying to make straight lines with the spackling. So that would have been much more difficult. So I wrapped those around and glued them down and now I'm filling it in with spackling to uh, make the illusion that he's wearing cloth gloves. And yeah, I just use a scrap of old business cards I have when I'm working with the spackling because it's just easy to spread it. And I have lots of them because you order the next day. You know, at least a couple hundred at a time and then you don't give them to anybody. They were only like four bucks in the end. But I moved on to the paint because it's the next day because I let the um, spackling dry. It takes 15 to 20 minutes, but sometimes if it's thicker, it'll take a little longer and it's better. Because then when you put paint after 15 minutes and then the paint dries, it shrinks the uh, spackling. And then I always have to put more spackling. But if I leave it longer, doesn't do that it just dries naturally and for the paint I have a gray primer and while I started painting the mask I realized I want to paint his eyes red first before I go with the gray primer and I'm pretty much covering all of them except for a part of his face that shows 
I also have another of the same toy, so you can have a before and after while I'm doing it without me having to put a graphic, so that was good maybe. So I let that coat dry. And uh, I think I did a second coat of gray on some spots, just some touch-ups. Now I'm going in with the black. It's just a regular black acrylic. And I'm going to get his mask and his gloves and his boots and uh, his underwear. Black underwear on top of his uh, gray leotard. Under his yellow belt, which I'm going to have to make. You can see maybe the little green things were supposed to be his little turtles that he has on his belt. One's a grappling hook, one's a phone, one's a smoke bomb, but they're all the same size but in different shots and during the episode they're different sizes. I tried to make those ones the uh, small ones, but I couldn't get the shape right working that small. And the material I used, it's also a craft two millimeter foam but it's textured. And now all the painting's done, and it's the next day, but this is also a textured foam. But it had bigger circles on it as the texture, so that'll work as to look like a shell. And I made them big enough that I could cut them straight and add little turtle heads. So after all that paint was dry the next day, I tried to um, put some clear coat into a cup, and it just went all over there the uh, desk there so I'm just using it straight from the desk because why waste it and uh, I painted those little turtles like now this was because I used that marker at the beginning when I put the clear coat all the green started to bleed and a little bit of the black from the pen as well so I tried to clean that up with a cotton swab as best as I could but it didn't work great. So I took another look and I just was touching it up with some bright yellow paint. And now that the turtles are dry, I started trying dry brushing uh, green on top of the black that I painted them just because I want the shells to pop out. All the circles that are going to look like the turtle shells. gluing his belt down. I made the belt is a little bit too big. But uh, it still works. And then I glue down the little turtle accessories. Now I fold over the flaps of the cape so that they'll fit into his um, crest. And I glue the cape and then glue the crest over top of the cape. And uh, I'm almost there. So um, these are some pictures, it's him and a Batman that looks kind of the same, the before and after. And um, so thanks a lot for watching. And uh, remember, always keep your head up. It's not always easy, but try. Thank you. Bye.